Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Ellen Wake 2. We are at the heart. Well, quite a, by the way, on the other hand, on the contrary, good last episode, in my opinion, because we found a new weapon, and we are now in the general store, and we are at the heart. Now. There we are. Anything else? No. Good. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. Shall we? Although that might not be the best spot right now. Words on the heart. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? The what? The words? The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I mirror. I brought you the heart. Which show me the terror. Huh. Now we have still something here. Let's the message we Witch's Ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Really? It does not. Why did I decide to play this game? Do you know sometimes when you regret playing? Yeah, that's how I feel. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. But then on the other hand, you do not want to stop playing. But you don't want to play it. It's strange and I am weird. I'm a weird person. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. I don't think so. Anyways, now, um, that's wrong. I wanted to go to the map. Just quickly. And wait. Really? That's where we need. Wait. Okay. I. Now, okay, it doesn't make sense. I thought we need to go to back to the hut but that's a safe spot I'm getting tense Why do in horror movies or horror games the character? Oh boy. Our is splitting up. Why? We need backup, man.
Ah, oh, there was just a tree, okay. Ah, yeah, good. Do any I'm gonna get used to that at one point. Okay, to the right we need to go. I was afraid for nothing, or I was tense for nothing. Good, right? Always good. And then the next crossing we need to go left. That should be it. Right. Right. Now, we are at the spot where we need to be. Place the heart in the witch's sign. I would have... But where's the sign? I'm confused. We are definitely at the spot. Or is this the cult's spot? Two, three... Do I need to get into the building? I mean, on the other hand, there's a battery inside. I don't get it. Goats. Perform the ritual to open the overlap, right? Place the heart in the witch's sign. Now, the map is indicating to us that we need to go here, right? You're located. Well, anyways, goats. And which makes sense. This is the murder site. The murder site, and yeah. But here the dude has been murdered, sadly enough. But. I do not see... It ain't in the inventory, the heart. So I do not see... What we... Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm tense and through that out of breath. Weird, right? Weird. If I only could find out where... The richest sign is. Or do I need to go on? Then I would not understand the indication to find something here. Alright, that's for me was not the place I'm just gonna now. Um, there's something on the map called the overlap, right? Um, I'm just gonna now... We are gonna take this way up and then go down here and find our way back there. I just wanna see there might be there's something more lunchbox. hidden here. Like that. Good. Utterly important. Now, remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. But if you are having a good day, ignore this whole thing. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Well, I can only say, um, in this game, I'm not having... My life is not a bad day, right? Or my complete life. Obviously not. Although... Yep, you have your bad days too. I wanted to say in the in-game days, right? In this game, the characters have. This is, in my opinion, one large bad day, right? After another bad day. That's just what I think. Now, um, so this technically, practically, now that I'm beginning to understand, it's not really a open world, right? It is open world D, as I always like to say. Since you can explore, you have regions, so to say, which you can 
Uh, I just would like to... So there's a little bit of exploring here in this game. What we have seen with the lunchbox, for example. Oh, correct. I correct myself with the lunchboxes. So that's actually what I am now would be... I'm currently Another like... Oh, currently... Boxes. Doing. Good. Ignore the tree thing now my dad used to say when it when the going gets tough the tough gets going not sure what the tough get going to but maybe you find it inspiring yeah 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 really inspiring mortar faults this powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature, the churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the forts resemble a mortar and pestle. Quite like the one uh, the witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have to, wait, uh, to travel through the night sky. Okay, it's actually quite funny now, right? It is now even without, okay, that's actually the waterfall, right? Even without the supernatural stuff which is currently going on. Places at night feel scarier, especially when you are alone, right? Um, and even without the supernatural, I think I ain't gonna... Yeah, ain't, we ain't gonna go all the way there. We are now gonna turn around to the right. What did I want to say? Yep, I definitely, I mean, she has, or well, we have here a murder case to solve. Um, if we would not have to solve that, I would not spend the night here, especially not alone. And especially not without a weapon, I think. I don't know, I would be so, see, that's why I don't spend, I would not spend free time here. Now, at the, what is actually good, we can, let's see how far we are going to get today, since we only have a couple of minutes remaining. There's the witch's hut, can still pay, not still, we can actually pay the witch's hunt a hunt. Hut a little small wizard. Good. And I was before thinking, oh damn it, I've used up some batteries for the torchlight for nothing. And now we have refilled it. That's good. Neat. Uh, we can use the witch's hut to save. Um, that's actually good. And on the other hand, then use that to bring it to the end of today's episode. And guys, you know it, I, as usual, really, really Thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.